Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Troy Bettenhausen. We'll have sunshine today, another breezy hot wind, and we're dealing with more humidity as well. We may have a chance of storms tomorrow afternoon and evening. We'll break down that in just a second, but it'll be another hot day. Finally, the cold front comes through Tuesday night. We have sunshine once again on Wednesday, but temperatures will be a little bit cooler. Look outside over Waverly, and it is just hot and humid out there. We have a blue sky once again. Of course, that's helping heat things up. We had another 90 degree day in Waterloo yesterday that brought the total for the year up to eight in Waterloo. We have eight as well in Iowa City, just four in Dubuque and six in Cedar Rapids. We're likely going to add more to this list today and tomorrow. We do have high pressure over us and that'll continue to filter over over the next couple of days or so, but we will have actually a low pressure system that'll bring that cold front through. It's going to give us the potential for a slight chance of rain and well, some relief to the heat and humidity as well. Today, our dew points are in the upper 60, so it's definitely going to feel humid, maybe a little bit uncomfortable tomorrow as they reach the low 70s. Cold front comes through, knocks us back down to the 60s, so it may feel slightly humid at times, but we do have our next rain chance coming in on Friday after tomorrow, and well, it's going to send our humidity soaring once again. Heat indices today will be right around 100. We're in the low 100s on Tuesday. You want to exercise caution, especially if you're uh, planning on spending long periods of time outdoors, but notice we're back down and really don't have to worry too much. Maybe Thursday in the low 90s other than that, it should be mirroring our current temperature. So of course, under these conditions, drink plenty of fluids, wear loose fitted clothing. If you are sensitive to the heat or sun, make sure to take frequent breaks in the shade, if not the air conditioning. Most importantly, do not leave kids or pets in hot cars. Something also to think about here is the UV index. I mean, this is great pool weather, right? Great time to be outdoors, but of course you wanna make sure you use your sunscreen with the UV index of about nine. You can see that sunburn in as little as 15 minutes. Today's high temperatures, we are in the low to mid 90s across the board. We'll have sunshine, even a breezy southwest wind gusting to 25 miles per hour. Tonight, falling down to the low 70s. We're not finding relief tonight at all. You'll definitely want to keep your air conditioning going overnight because the windows are not going to help. Speaking of our storm chance, this is tomorrow afternoon and evening. The Storm Prediction Center has a level one risk for most of eastern Iowa out of five. Now it's a conditional chance. Things don't look, they're not looking all like they'll come together pretty easily, so we're not expecting a widespread severe chance. However, if storms can fire, and that's the big if, we could see one or two that could become strong to severe, producing large hail and damaging wind gusts. Here are the factors at play. We have plenty of instability when you get these hot, humid days. Instability is usually easy to find. Moisture, well, we've got it. If you walked outside, you'd feel it. However, the lift, we do have our cold front, but it looks like the way the uh, wind is going, it's not providing a favorable lift scenario. And wind shear, wind shear just appears to be too light at this time to really get things up and moving. So if we do see storms, we'll play out the scenario here. This is Tuesday at 1 o'clock, so likely most of the day will be sunny and actually pretty quiet. However, as we approach the afternoon and evening, we could see a few storms popping up. Southeastern counties have the best chance at seeing that. However, the biggest start I would say for the potential for, for severe weather will be just south of our viewing area. Though the storms still may be possible through nine o'clock and likely lasting at least through the late evening, but most of that shower and storm activity should finish up by midnight and will be clear for the morning commute on Wednesday. City by city forecast, Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. Temperatures in the 90s today and tomorrow. We're back down in the mid 80s Wednesday and Thursday. They may try to heat up as we approach the end of the work week. Notice that chance of rain coming Friday and Saturday, and we're going to be in the low 80s through the rest of the 10-day forecast.